be honest with you, Daniel's going to preach. Amen. How many times do you get down to pray? That when you get down to pray, you say, Lord, I need this. Lord, I'd like for you to do this. Lord, I'd like for you to touch that. Lord, I'd like for you to... I've got it all right there. That's a miracle. That was a miracle. 
Jesus told these men, let me go one more place. Jesus said, get on the ship and get across to the honor. I'll meet you on the other side. And then Jesus, Brother Nathan, went into a place and started praying. Yeah. The Bible said along about the fourth hour of the night, I'm going to give you this and I'm going to go on. Along about the fourth watch in the night, uh, Jesus was walking on the water and would have passed by. That's what the Bible says. But they hollered out there at him. Hey, it looks like a ghost. Hey Amen. Let me go right here. They, they, now, here's what this, that was in verse 49. Here's verse 50. For they all saw him and immediately were troubled. And, and immediately he talked with them and said unto them, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. Thank you, Lord. And he went up unto uh, them into the ship, and the wind ceased. And they, now listen, they were sore amazed because the wind ceased. Let's go on right here. In themselves beyond, they was, they was amazed beyond measure right here within themselves. And wonder, now listen, for they considered not the miracle of the loaves. You can be seated right there. For they considered not the miracle of the loaves. The same men that went out there and took up the baskets of a miracle, amen. The same men that picked up the pieces of what Jesus did was already down when they got out there on the water. For they, they, for their heart was hardened, uh -huh. and when they had passed over, they came into the land of the uh, gener uh, generous Zared. I don't even know how to say that. They're smarter than I am. You can tell me later. And drew to the shore, and when they were come out of the ship, straightway they knew him. Yeah. Who knew him? The people that they got to the shore, yeah. the land where they was gone. They had already heard. About the loaves there. Don't you remember the people that outrun him before? I believe they did it again. The Bible didn't say they did, but it didn't say they didn't either. They turned right. I believe there were some more people that had sat down and seen Jesus move right there. They outrun that ship. Amen. They got up where they already told that other country. Wait a minute. There's a man coming that just broke five loaves and five fish. Call for the elders of the church, anointing them with hope. 
And as many as touched him were made whole. So I'm going to give you a little illustration here if it's all right. The Bible don't say it, but it don't say anything to the opposite of it either. The people that seen the, the, the loans fed, they had faith. After they had seen that, they said, well, surely he can do more. Surely he can do more than this. The men that took up the baskets were on the ship with Jesus, and they doubted. Somebody outrun Jesus over to the other side and said, I've seen a man that can do all of these things. Go grab the sin. Go grab the
chance that I could stand up here in the Spirit of God and ever deny what He's done. When you get under the power of God, you want to confess His name. Amen. Amen. Now listen. Hey, listen real close right here. This ain't doctrine. This is Bible. Amen. 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 This ain't some kind of religion. Listen to me. Because if that spirit does not confess Jesus, it's a spirit of an antichrist. Amen. Amen.
Here's what it says. Bless him, Lord. Look, it's all right. Some people say, I don't want to go off the text. You do whatever you want to do. I'm going to do what God says to do. Bless Bless him. Him. Bless him. Bless him. Here's what it says in Matthew 21 and 21. Jesus answered and said unto them, Barry, now I'm going to show you something right here if you'll let me. Just, you pray for me. Then I stay in the Holy Ghost. Verily I say unto you, if you have faith. Number one. Well, look. If you have faith and doubt not. Let me show you something. Let me, let me just show you something. Help us, Lord. You can have faith in certain areas. And doubt numbers. I ain't saying you can have faith and doubt in the same subject. That's not possible. You say, you say, okay, let's just take this for example. Is that all right if I just go? Here's somebody sick. You touch them. You have faith in that, that moment. Look at us, we're focused right here. Yeah. Brother Nate Moore, right here. Yeah. Nothing over here, nothing over here. I don't have no doubt it happens. Amen. Amen. Oh, God, preacher, yes, it does. Let me show you. Amen. Have faith and doubt not, ye shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also if ye shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed, yeah. and be thou cast into the sea, it shall be done. You just pray for me a minute. 
Because I'm going to show you one more thing here. Harden not your hearts. How, how easy is it, brother, to sit there and not be amazed at God? You remember uh, about two months ago, I come over here and I was with him in a night service. But, and you remember what I got up and said? I don't know, some of you might, some of you might not. Don't forget. Don't forget the significance of God. Amen. Amen. Don't forget the significance of God. How easy, Brother Norman, is it for me and you to forget the significance of where we was at when God saved us? But I might forget it, but I'm glad somebody else don't forget it. Yeah. 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 Gathering them up. Yeah. 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 Ye